Hi, I want to tell you a story about a moth. And believe it or not, this is a true story. And it's so important. It may seem like a silly metaphor, but it's so important, so very important. I uh, w walked, I was in some of my friend's backyard and she had made this great tree house. And I went up into the tree house and I heard this sound and there was a uh, a huge moth and the moth, I could feel its anxiety and its stress. I could sense it. It was totally freaking out. If you've ever seen a an animal or an insect or any kind of a creature that's that's worried for its life, you can feel that frenzy, that panic. And the moth was just, uh, it was a huge moth and it was stuck between two panes of glass and it was just flying all around the window, like freaking out, flapping and it had huge wings. And so it made a really loud sound as it was flapping against the panes of glass. And it was, it was really old window, you know, it was just like stuck together in this hand built. Um, it wasn't a fancy custom made tree house. It was like one of those ones, those mom and pop ones. So the window was just stuck in there and there was a there was a space about that big at the bottom where the where the window met the wood where if the if the moth would have simply relaxed the moth could have just kind of slid down and escaped at any moment it could have been free but because it was anxiety ridden and freaked out and panicked it was going to pro if i wouldn't have uh intervened, it probably would have flapped itself to death. So I, I I finally figured out a way to to like unhook the bottom of the window and open open the window opened out um out this way. And then I watched the moth fly away and it was in Hawaii and the sky was like this otherworldly blue and the moth just flew into the sky. I could just only imagine the relief he felt, right? Like I'm free. And he went from like this freaked out panic to just this gliding into this infinite sky. And I genuinely felt as that moth flew away, I I literally felt within my heart a feeling of 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 joy and freedom and and I stared out into that Hawaii sky and I thought well I didn't really think much at that time I just felt so joyful and it was later that I sat down to write about this and I actually made it a whole scene in my one woman show I gave him a really fun voice that I thought that that moth that that moth was literally like a a, a beautiful gift from God to me Stick with me, folks. I believe this. That was such a life lesson for me. Because as soon as, soon as like, if the moth could have settled down, calmed down and found calm and peace in that situation, she could have just slid down and flew away with ease. No problem, no struggle, no strife. It wasn't like she had to like cut the glass, break the glass. She literally had to just relax and her little moth body or her big moth body would have slid down and seen this huge opening at the bottom of the window, but she couldn't because she was freaked out. And I know this seems like a leap, but it is exactly, it was the perfect metaphor for my life and specifically my life in, in therapy and in all the self-help stuff that I had done, I was always freaked out. I was always looking at, um, you know, the, the, the trap of therapy and self-help and making yourself better is that you're always looking at your problems, right? And you're kind like, it's like trying to find the light by be getting eight PhDs in why the darkness is dark. This moth couldn't save her life in that anxious state, and she would have flapped herself to death if I wouldn't have come into the treehouse and set her free. So the thing I wanted to say, and I'm going to make this short, is that I said in a video, I think two weeks ago, that our true home address is peace, serenity, tranquility, and love, too. 
if you will. <laughs> I know that seems like a leap based on the news, but I stand by it deep within each and every human being. Our true everlasting, eternal, whatever word you want to say, the truth about us, deep within us, is that we are a being of peace. And when we are stuck in our drama, pain, trauma, and I'm not saying that any of this is right or wrong or good or bad, but when we are focusing on the pain and the trauma and the problems and the anger and the resentment, and again, I'm not saying that that's wrong because that's a necessary step to begin healing is to become aware of all of that. But at some point, we want to fly away into the blue sky. At some point, we want to quell the anxiety. At some point, we want to let go of our hatred and anger and pain. At some point, we want to be happy, right? At some point, we want to embrace and, and, and live a life that feels good. So I just wanted to say that moth or human being, it's the same thing. It's the same principle. We will be free. Well, this metaphor doesn't quite work. We will be free when a big, strong human comes and opens the windows for us. No, we can be free if we would just be peaceful and calm. And, and that's where we'll find our way out. That's where we will hear the solutions. It's like, um, I think it was Einstein who said, you can't solve the problem coming from the energy that created the problem, like anti-war, anti-drugs, anti-teen pregnancy, anti-whatever. You're just creating more war, right? As opposed to accepting what is, I am a nervous wreck, I had a fucked up childhood or whatever it is, right? Whatever your thing is, accepting it, letting it be what it is, and then, and then, doing whatever you do to access and to connect with that peace that is within you, I promise it's there. But you have to at least take a breath, take a pause, <laughs> and invite it in. Or it's already in. Uh, allow the craziness to leave, allow the frenzy and the panic and the anxiety to quiet like a snow globe, right? Shake it up. Stop shaking the snow globe. Put the snow globe down. Let the snow settle. And there's so many ways, you know, somatic breath, just breathe. I, I heard a talk this morning about uh, the Hebrew name of God, Yahweh, uh, is is God created that name so that we would it would sound like breath like in yeah <gasps> way <gasps> way yeah way like I am yeah way where is God he she it ain't out there it is within. Start with your breath. If you're freaked out, breathe. Find the peace within you. And, and try to, as best you can, practice that presence of peace. Nurture and cultivate and focus on the peace that is within you. Okay. I wanted to keep this short today, so I hope you can make sense of that. Um, think of the moth, think of the snow globe. And also, you're not just a person, this stuff. Thank God, right? Because my stuff is getting wrinkly. <laughs> we are spiritual beings. And that is not like meta woo woo crap. It's, uh, you know, I'm not a scientist, but it's true. There is more to us than just this. And the essence of that more to itness 
is peace. So I dare you, I challenge you to try to find it. You can find it with journaling. You can find it with physical exercise, yoga, meditation, prayer, spiritual practice, but it is there. All you have to do is quiet all the bullshit that's not really you. Like Da Vinci, get rid of all the stuff that's not David. There is David within you. There is peace within you. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Peace. Namaste. I wish you... I wish you peace. I wish you that you align with the peace that's already there. Don't go looking for it. You're not going to find it out there. You're not going to find anything out there, but more illusions. It's inside you. Take care. Bye.